Hi everyone, I'm Blonde Psychic and today I'm doing some of my healing work because my spirit team keeps bringing me back to my healing work that I haven't done yet. I've done my personal trauma healing work which I've shared and documented on my YouTube channel. Anyone can go look at it. And I have, last week I did start my My Lives Before Me healing journey and I'm documenting and sharing that on YouTube as well. But because I'm actually starting when creating my website, I am, you know doing a lot of creative work, behind the scenes work to try and build my Blonde Psychic website and get um, my name out there and this website up and running and also work, job, bring in money obviously. Um, my life's so busy and I always put off my own healing work. But today and every other day, I do personal tarot reading for myself and I watch some advanced readers, some tarot as well and they keep bringing me back to the point that I need to start what I finish because I never start what I finish and um I need to start restart sharing my healing journey my, my life's before me healing journey which talks about every life I've lived before me that's been my energy and my essence and also my ancestral trauma as well I need to channel and find out what that is and heal that as well and I have done, so my energy of being life is Hecate. Now, some of you are thinking, what is energy of being? It's the first ever or one of the first ever lives you've lived before you were an atom because we were atoms. We started out as atoms. Then the big blast happened. So we were all intertwined. And then the big blast happened and then poof, your energy spread throughout the universe and it took on a form, a life form as such. And, my, and that is your origin of being. My first ever origin of being, my first ever life in this universe was of Hecate, Hecate, which is a triple witch goddess. Now, that was millions of years ago. That was before the dawn of time. I expand all the way, my lineage, my lion, me, extends all the way back to that. And it's an interesting story on how it happened, but I will share it on my YouTube channel. So if you want to find out about um, my healing journey, my lives before me healing journey, I also offer this as a course for you to do if, you, if you're at the stage of healing your personal trauma and wanting to take the next level in healing, then you can also do this course with me. Um, but I, I wrote down some notes. I don't know if you can see them, but and I did this last week. I wrote down all the notes that I need to share about Hecate and um, what she needs to be healed, what needs to be healed within her being. And I will go on to share that. So that'll be in the next video. But if you'd like to join this journey with me, make sure you're following me on YouTube. It's at The Blonde Psychic and my whole journey will be on there. Let's jump into healing Hecate's wounds. Hi everyone, I'm The Blonde Psychic. This is part two of my My Lives Before Me trauma counselling. And I'm talking about healing Hecate's wounds today. Watch part one to find out what we're talking about. But Hecate is my origin life and it um, goes all the way back to the dawn of time. Okay, let's talk about um Hecate and healing her wounds so she doesn't really have that much trauma in her personal life the only um, problem she has is that people still think she's actually an evil goddess which in fact she's not she is a good witch she's not bad at all she can do like black magic and she can protect and kill but she only does that if she deems it necessary if you're pure evil she will kill you if you're bad or hurt her or things she loves she will kill you that's the natural reaction that anyone has really the ability to kill or hurt someone if they affect someone she loves now, we cure that by letting people know through awareness um, and education about her real story, which is this true um, Greek mythology story. She helped um, people through the underworld. She is very giving. She is very loving. And she is really a good goddess. Very powerful, very good goddess. Go and research. I'll actually link on my YouTube channel some really good resources I use to actually do some more research on her story. But Another big thing she actually wanted me to let people know is about her energy, her essence of being. She was never a motherhood. She was never, sorry, she's never mother. She was never married. But she thinks of herself as a mother through her lineage. And I'm part of her lineage. So origin of being. I was her. She was my first ever life within this galaxy. And when our soul reincarnates, it actually stays with that being, but our energy moves on and chooses another human being to reincarnate to. So her energy has expelled 
she's always her her soul will always stay with her she's always her but she expelled her energy throughout um the universe once again this is what happens when we decide to reincarnate and she chose to move on to different life forms so my next life is that of a star seed called you know so it's part of her essence expanded from her and went into this new being which is a um and created this new being which is a star seed founder called you know which is my next life that i've got to do, um, delve into and channel into for this trauma healing that i'm doing so hakate wants me to also reach out to the world to people who believe that they are made up of her essence as well and she wants me to connect with them because they are part of her they will be part of me part of her lineage so if you think you are part of hecate's lineage reach out to me because we are from the same origin of being energy that's about healing hecate's wound she thinks her, she's a mother from the lineage so reach out to me if you think you Hi everyone, I'm the Blonde Psychic. This is part two of my My Lives Before Me trauma counselling and I'm talking about healing Hecate's wounds today. Watch part one to find out what we're talking about. But Hecate is my origin life and it um, she goes all the way back to the dawn of time, okay? Let's talk about um, Hecate and healing her wounds. So she doesn't really have that much trauma in her personal life. The only um, problem she has is that people still think she's actually an evil goddess. Which in fact she's not. She is a good witch. She's not bad at all. She can do like black magic and she can protect and kill. But she only does that if she deems it necessary. If you're pure evil, she will kill you. If you're bad or hurt her or things she loves, she will kill you. That's the natural reaction that anyone has really. The ability to kill or hurt someone if they affect someone she loves. Now, we cure that by letting people know through awareness um, and education about her real story, which is this true um, Greek mythology story. She helped um, people through the underworld. She is very giving. She is very loving. And she is really a good goddess. Very powerful, very good goddess. Go and research. I'll actually link on my YouTube channel some really good resources I use to actually do some more research on her story. But... Another big thing she actually wanted me to let people know is about her energy, her essence of being. She was never a motherhood. She was never, sorry, she's never a mother. She was never married. But she thinks of herself as a mother through her lineage. And I'm part of her lineage. So origin of being. I was her. She was my first ever life within this galaxy. And when our soul reincarnates, it actually stays with that being, but how our energy moves on and chooses another human being to reincarnate it to. So her energy has expelled. She's always her. Her soul will always stay with her. She's always her. But she expelled her energy throughout um, the universe once again. This is what happens when we decide to reincarnate. And she chose to move on to different life forms. So my next life is that of a star seed called you know so it's part of her essence expanded from her and went into this new being which is a um and created this new being which is a star seed founder called you know which is my next life that i've got to do, um, delve into and channel into for this trauma healing that i'm doing so hakate wants me to also reach out to the world to people who believe that they are made up of her essence as well and she wants me to connect with them because they are part of her they will be part of me part of her lineage so if you think you are part of hecate's lineage reach out to me because we are from the same origin of being energy that's about healing hecate's wound she thinks her, she's a mother from the lineage so reach out to me if you think 